amazing web. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decision without him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, back to the sender. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate Peace Chapel International at the Nyamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel With International, so our Father's peace House. Peace. Shalom. Amazing web. If somebody leaves you and comes back, and you just left me to marry, and when the marriage got tougher and tougher, you are coming back, foul through. Men marry with their eyes whereas you men they marry with their ears so when it comes to communication those of you who are wise be careful the way you dress in the night when my wife and i go into a uh, bed the way she dress her dress is trying to talk to me and so wives you must know that your body belongs to jesus and your own husband it's a sin for you to sleep with a strange woman apart from your wife if you say i'm not in the mood what do you mean if you are not in the mood he is in the mood now give it to him so you have about four billion women you are supposed to marry one the whole world is at your disposal don't make mistake why would you go for somebody's leftover don't go for leftover you are wondering thinking and seeking answers are you single married or in a relationship do you have challenges bringing up your children in the godly way you have challenges in your marriage then join us this very saturday and every other saturday at 7 pm on family matters peace chapel facebook live and your family will take a good turn family matters redefining your homes this is family matters my name is constance lucky back it's a we are coming live from the premises of Peace Chapel International. And this is the only program that redefines your homes for glory. Today is a day for the singles. So if you are single on the platform, just give us a thumbs up. As we are about to go for a quick break, we would like you to share if you are already on. Invite a friend, create a watch party, and we'll all have a good time. Let's go, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Jane 5.30, the Bible says, Is any one of you suffering? Is any one of you going to hardship? Let him pray. Prayer is the key. Jesus Christ, he prayed. The apostles prayed. Abraham prayed. Hannah prayed. We call it divine encounter. So, my name is Pye. My name is If you want your level to change, it is through prayer. Monday to Saturday, 12 to 1 p.m. Peace Chapel, Facebook Life. All you need to do, search Peace Chapel and meet Peace Chapel International pastors and men and women of God. And there shall be a change of level because through prayer, you can encounter God and there shall be a performance. You need to be there. Your love is high. Amazing web. Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without Him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, back to the sender. Amazing word 
with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate UTV Peace Chapel International at the Yamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel With International, so our Father's peace House. Peace. Shalom. Amazing web. Staying tuned. This is Family Matters, proudly brought to you by Peace Chapel International. And on today's program, we are talking about preparing for marriage. Are you a single? Are you a male or a female? Do you want to get married the godly way? We are here to expound and talk more about what you and I need to do as singles before we get married. From the story of the ten virgins in Matthew chapter 25, you realize that five of them were prepared to meet the groom. But five were foolish. Are you prepared for marriage? Many of us want to get married. Many of us love the idea about marriage. And yet... We are not getting ready. We are not doing anything in preparedness for marriage. For a person to become a doctor, the person has to, has to school for years before they can get the degree. Or for any qualification, for any profession, you need to prepare before you get to that point. So as well as marriage, we want to prepare. Join me as a counselor who has been very consistent with us is here in the house in the person of Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo, a seasoned counselor. He's in the studio today. And then before he comes in, I'd like you to just like this page. If you are single, if you are married, you are watching, like this page, create a watch party, invite a friend. Don't leave anyone out. Saturdays are not complete without family matters. So join in, tell a friend to tell another friend. As we expound on preparing for marriage. Bishop, thank you for coming for Family Matters. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> and you look gorgeously beautiful. Thank you very much, Bishop. Give all glory to God. Amen. All right, so Bishop, on today's program, we are talking about preparing for marriage. Preparing for marriage. I personally think that is a very important topic that we need to um, talk about because I'm a single and you realize that many people go into marriage and then after a few years or some months, regret. And we don't want to. Or even those who are already in the marriage want to make things right. Yes, so I think you can start up with what we have to say about preparedness right. for marriage. We thank God for the life of all our online viewers. And uh, Amen. it's like marriage is a city. Mm. Those who are in, some want to get out. Mm -hmm. And those who are not there want to come in. Yes. And I'm sure when it comes to those who are not there, we are talking about the singles. Mm -hmm. It appears you have more singles than married men and women. It is better for you to be single and you are happy than to marry and go through challenges. Yeah. It's better for you to uh, stay single, prepare very well, and so the one you enter into it, you don't come back because marriage, they say, it's a place of no return. Mm. So let's begin with the importance of preparation, preparation. generally. Okay. I'm sure uh, those who are contractors who build mansions, mm -hmm. they first have a plan. Yes. I'm sure, yeah, your father is an architect. Mm -hmm. And so the building plan, mm -hmm. uh, the AMA or the government, uh, there's a a government official or office mm -hmm. that will come and inspect to see that everything is complete before permit is given to you to build. To build, yes. So in a way, the building is built on the paper. Before, before. it's actually built. Yes, so it's in a way, it's a plan. Mm -hmm. That's why I say, bring the plan of the building. Mm -hmm. So there's a form of preparation mm -hmm. before a building is put it up. Without that, they are not going to approve for you. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, let's say, Footballers, mm -hmm. it depends on the kind of match. But top matches, footballers, they prepare well so that they can win. Yes. And uh, there was a time in Ghana, we have mentor. Mentor one, mentor two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they have mentor house. Mm -hmm. They will go there and spend like nine, 12 weeks just to sing for probably 30 minutes. Yes. Preparation. Preparation. Very important. Mm -hmm. And let's say when it comes to uh, boxing, heavyweight. Mm -hmm. 
uh, bout. The heavyweight champion, some of them will prepare like three years to fight a giant and just match. one round. They will wow. just knock their opponent. And yet, three years preparation for it will like 36 minutes. Mm, mm. And let's say I, I got married when I was 27. Mm -hmm. And now, by God's I'm 55. Wow. So I've married almost 28 years. Hmm. Still Congratulations. Counting. And uh, when I got married, you were not even born. Mm -hmm. You were in the heavens. <laughs> okay, okay, so it simply means that if you are going to spend with... Uh, your, the rest of your life. life let's with, say 80 years, 70 mm. with a woman or mm. with a man. You need thorough preparation. Mm. Out of a whole lot. Oh, yes. Because, like, as you just said in your preamble, medical doctors, they will go to school for seven years mm. to become a doctor. So they know how to put a pannier, a wall, pannier, a you know, to do that. Yeah. And you are going to live with a man. And I tell you, when it comes to preparation, mm. areas to prepare. Areas. You need to prepare spiritually. Mm. Spiritually. Spiritually. Because life begins with Christ. Okay. So you need to have that kind of interrelationship. With God. With God. Right intimacy with God. So God because first. God first. Because everything mm. is God. Genesis 1, in the beginning, God. God. So when it comes to preparation, areas, mm -hmm. number one, is spiritual preparation. Mm. You and God. We will see any now no more years That's our worry. Because if you are not ready to serve God, you can't serve a man. Mm. Bishop, can you say that again? Yeah, if you can't serve God, you can't serve a man. Mm -hmm. So you need to serve God first. Becoming a person that you have relationship rapport oh with your maker. Because we have a lot of nonsense in marriage. A lot of nonsense. No, oh, yes. But that's not what we see. Oh. We uh, see marriage to be very... Oh, master. Um, Go into it and see. Listen, if you, don't, if you hate nonsense, don't marry. If you go <laughs> home, ask your mother. If you hate nonsense... Don't marry. Don't marry. Uh -huh. Is there an advice? <laughs> oh, yes. It's an advice. In other words, if you are not ready to tolerate, tolerate. stupidity and nonsense, don't marry. Share. Why are you not here? Why are you not here? Why Obey by force. Obey by force. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. I mean, at times you sit down, let's say you want to relax. Mm. And then the man says, I want to have sex with you. What are you going to do? You are not in the mood. But whether you are mood or not, give it to him. And the opposite is true. It's true. So if you don't have a rapport with Jesus, mm. when it comes to uh, nonsense and uh, that kind of uh, tolerance, you can't. Mm -hmm. So you need to prepare your spiritual life with Jesus. Wow. So I want to say, to prepare spiritually, it connotes prepare scripturally. To prepare spiritually, spiritually you must it prepare script, scripturally. In other words, you must know Bible. You must know the word. The word. Wow. So to be spiritual mm -hmm. is to be scriptural. Spiritual. Wow. To be spiritual is to be scriptural. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that as a basis, mm. And you want to be in at all. So when it comes to preparation, it's mm. vital. Mm -hmm. Because according to uh, Psalm 11.3, mm. what, what can a writer do if the foundation destroys? Yeah. So you need proper foundation before you enter into marriage. And that foundation must be Christ. 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 Mm. And his word. Because there's no difference between his word and Christ. And Christ. So you can never have a spiritual relationship with God without a word. Mm. So your foundation, I'm happy uh, you are coming from Baghdad that they built. After the plan and everything, they talk about foundation. Foundation, yes. And at times they need iron rods and all the cement. A lot of stones. Stones, uh-huh. So as a young girl, before you say, I do, you prepare. You have shock absorbers. Hmm. So when you enter into it, all the blows... Yeah. So there are blows in my. There are blows, not physical one. Mm. When you see Mike Tyson, and uh, in his eight days that he was just putting people first round, mm. second round, third round, mm. ha, he has already encountered blows. At the time they put sun in the back, and then he be beating them like that. So when you come, you go down. In marriage, there are challenges. Wow. That's the truth. As a matter of fact, First Corinthians seven says that those who marry have problems. Mm. Oh, yes, it's in the Bible. 
Wow. So, and, and we are not, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm saying, so it's vital for you to prepare. Okay. So the reason then, why we need to uh -huh, prepare. Because of the singles. challenges. Now, don't forget, why should we prepare? You are wired differently. I am mm -hmm. wired differently. You mm -hmm. are a woman, you are going to marry a man. That's number one, generally. Number two, background-wise, we are different. Mm. I married somebody who was brought, born and brought up in Accra. In Accra. And I was born from the village. So you can understand the difference. The difference, Big. yeah. She went to school, international school. I only went Saito. Quite English was prohibited. <laughs> you speak English, they beat you. That's a big difference. Yes. Mm. But, but you still came together. Uh -huh, came to me. What are you using uh, something to uh, make sure he, she clean her teeth? Myself was just some sticky bee. Yeah. Or some stacko bee. So different. So you are big. And then it's like water from the uh, mountain coming to interjoin or interwoven with the water on the dam. So it's so easy. And wow. you are cheap. So you need preparation so that when you come in together, mm. you must be able to readjust and do minor adjustments. So without proper preparation, it's non-starter. Mm -hmm. That's the sure. truth. So it's vital for mm. singles to know that before I say I do, I need thorough and proper preparation. So I'm talking about spiritual preparation areas. Mm. Mm. You and God, especially the word of God. Preparation. Now, when it comes to uh, spiritual preparation, mm -hmm. you know, your husband is going to offend you often and yeah, often, often and often. Mm -hmm. Your husband is going to offend you often and often and often. Mm -hmm. Your wife is going to offend you often and often and often. So you need to prepare scripturally so that you can forgive him daily. Mm -hmm. Because every day, you need to be Spiritual or scriptural or biblical preparation. Why? Because you are living with a, a human being who has flaws. Mm. Whether you like it or not, whether you marry a pastor, apostle, bishop, archbishop, president, it doesn't matter. Mm. Even in our homes, living with your parents or ah, siblings, ah, it's, not, it's easy. not easy. So you need to prepare biblically. Maybe mm. because of this, you can't hear biblical way. That, mm. In other words, you must have the word in your spirit, mm. especially forgiveness. So that you write a, a, a plain check, sealed, and give to your partner, saying, I'll forgive you before you, do you offend me. <laughs> it, might wow. be daily, it might be daily occurrences. Uh, you uh, need that preparation. Mm -hmm. Else you are going to be surprised, mm -hmm. overwhelmed, amazed, mm -hmm. and frightened. When yes, you say, even before. before you enter into it, you are going to be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Because at times people have what we call unrealistic expectation. I'm going to get married and when I get there, everything goes all right. No, at times the expectation might not be the mm. reality. What are you going to do? So I'm doing this year's introduction. We have not entered into the whole thing. The whole thing. But what I'm going to do, this will be the platform. Preparation is important. Because without good foundation, you can't do you anything. You can't do anything. But where, which areas you must prepare? And I'm saying, number one, the spiritual. spiritual. You and your God. Mm. So if you don't have Jesus, mm. if you don't have right intimacy with him, it's a non-starter. Mm -hmm. You need Christ. Mm -hmm. And then as you go to church, you need a word. Mm. You must be able to be a word-based Christian. Okay. So that when he, for example, forgiveness, you need that one. Yeah. Every day. Because whether you like it or not, he can offer you. At he can speak time. to you anytime. What are you going to do? Mm. That's number one. Not only forgiveness, you need to prepare so that you can have selfless spirit. Because naturally, every human being is selfish. selfish. So here you are, living with a man, a woman, and you need to, if you permit me, go away your ego for his sake. You have value. But because of the marriage, you look at the bigger picture. Mm. Scholars call it superordinate goal. Okay. Oh, share the action. Now I say, Ujabi, we be tall. And can be any one pet, but who couldn't it? Baby, you're looking at uh, the way you, your genetic makeup. makeup, how you have been wired differently. You are introvert, and you have married extrovert. An extrovert. You want to be indoors. He said, no, let's go out. At times, you need to sacrifice. So you need to learn all this. But only Jesus and his word 
was able to be your basis mm. so that you can say, okay, mm. because when you look unto Jesus, mm. because of his selfish attitude, although God, he came here to become like a man. Mm. So, preparation is not only knowing how to cook. I know they are man, right? but you, are, you and God first okay. before you learning how to cook. So, I have, this is the foundation. The foundation. Spiritual foundation, mm. domestic foundation, mm -hmm. emotional foundation. Mm -hmm financial foundation, yeah. and many more. Mm. All these areas you need to prepare. Okay. Bishop, let me speak to our viewers for a while, then we come back to preparing for marriage. So viewers, if you are watching, this is Family Matters. We are talking about preparing for marriage. Whether you are single or married, this topic is very, very relevant for us all. And I would like to entreat you, if you are watching, don't forget to give a thumbs up invite a friend, send your questions, your contributions, your experiences, especially those of us or those of you who are married. Kindly make sure you send your contributions and experiences to us so that we can all learn from it. Thank you all for watching. I see you. Um, Sister Betty Tutu, thanks for watching. Mr. Ebenezer Boateng says, Good evening, Efo. God bless you for a good job. Watching you live from Qatar, Doha. Okay, Mr. Ebenezer, thank you so much. Stella, AJ, Kwakwa, and Esther Omari, thank you all for watching. Patricia Efum is on. Richard Asamoa Kwache is on. Eric Jemfi, God bless you all. Kindly tell a relative. And so, so far, Bishop has established the grounds that the reasons why we need to prepare for marriage is because there are challenges in marriage. And for every building, there is a strong foundation. So for your foundation to be strong and for your marriage to be sustained, you need the word of God. You need to have a relationship with God. So God first before anything in preparation for marriage. God bless you, Bishop. Thank you so much. Can we move on yeah, so from there? Now that you have settled with God, mm. because for me, without Jesus, it's non starter. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good you are in terms of bed or cooking. Life without Jesus is no standard. Mm, you can't do without Jesus. You can't Jesus. do without Nemo. Mm. Without well, that means you are nothing. Mm -hmm. So, preparation involves your relationship with yeah. Jesus Christ. Now, when you have that basis, 90% of marriage is complete. Mm -hmm. Because if God is with you, the rest is not a problem. So, spiritual preparation. The second one will be domestic preparation. Domestic preparation. What is domestic preparation? Mm -hmm. As a, let's say I'm talking to you as a girl, as, as a, a young girl, you must be able to learn how to cook. Mm. Very how? important. Very important. Mm -hmm. You know how to cook. You know, I, I read, I did a research. You need to know before you marry, you need to know how to cook about 20 different food mm. or dishes. 20 different 20 dishes. 20 menus. Yes, different menus. Wow. 20. Now the other beer and mutu on and then you need to do, learn how to do like seven different soups. Soups. So there 18, should be diversity. Eighteen different stews. <laughs> hey, now, okay. This criteria. <laughs> I've never had it anywhere. Uh -huh, Only on family matters. That's a good one. <laughs> now, for example, you marry somebody like Obi Wan Ma or Ch Chiron Kakra. Mm. You know, it depends on where the person is coming from. Some people, they might not like fufu, they might not like this. Mm. And then you, know, you never know where your husband is going to be. Yes. You are going to have probably mm. an entrepreneur, a business tycoon who travel around the globe. Mm. Or even a person who is not from your culture. That's a good one. Who doesn't eat your kind of food. Uh -huh. mm. So preparation is domestically knowing how to cook. Mm -hmm. Because I tell you, even in U.S., women cook in okay. Europe they do okay I've been there several times and I see some people have married like 50 years mm. as this woman of God called Marva Donald uh, Livelle you no know, Dr. Donald he has married like 55 years she still cook and you go to her and I'm like she's still cooking for me oh my god so if we're here 25 you don't know how to cook you are sick you mm. don't need a husband. Mm. You don't need a husband. You don't need a husband. <laughs> if you don't know how to cook, it's a non-starter. Don't go there Be and sure. spoil everything. Mm. And then somebody says, well, somebody come and cook for me. Hey, man. Yes. Well, there are some husbands. Mm -hmm. They want to eat the food from their wives. Their wives. Very vital. Mm. And again, 
let's say as a, a leader, a manager, if you employ people to work for you, you must have a little idea about, about it. every area. So that when they are make when they are doing they make mistakes, you know correct how them. to correct. So even if you are going to have somebody to cook for your household, you know how to do it. Mm. So that when the food is not sweet, you know. So mm. if you don't know how to cook, you don't need a husband. And Bishop, even with the saying that a way to a man's heart. That's a good one. Stories. I mean, we're also told that for you to enter the man's heart, two areas, the, f the table and the bed. In other words, the food and as he has affair with mm. you. So food it's plays very, a very major important. role globally. Mm. You must know how to cook. Mm -hmm. And this is not only to the young girl. The boys too. The young boy is very important. Uh, but Bishop, he's going to get married. Uh -huh. And the wife is going to cook. No. For, listen. Mm -hmm. Gone were the days, maybe my mother, my mother is 80 years. I didn't have never seen my father going to kitchen. The no, kitchen I didn't cook. see that one. No. I mean, where I'm coming from, mm. I didn't see my father washing clothes. Never. But today, things have changed. Why? Because the world is being ruled by science and technology. Mm -hmm. Let's say we have ladies in this church. Some are bankers. Early morning, 4.30, they, are, oh, they go to work. Mm -hmm. Career woman. Very important. Mm. And you need her to bring something home. home. So She's in so the good. morning, who's going to do the thing for you? The guy... Stand up, young man. Stand up. Go to the kitchen. Prepare your, see, your breakfast. Breakfast for yourself and your children. Wow, very important. And men is a was a So it's not like fifty years ago they say <laughs> men are breadwinners. Today the breadwinners, women too are breadwinners. Yeah. I mean, half a daughter, let's say Patricia, mm. a banker. Mm -hmm. Hey, she's she working tirelessly. So the husband's supposed to know how to cook. Not only her, Auntie Esther, and many more. They are all career mm. women. And I can just, you are also a career woman. So, what are we saying? Domestic preparation is important. It's important. Which simply means knowing how to cook. Both for the male and the yes, female. But especially the female. Especially, especially. the female. Especially. Mm. I don't know what that is. Uh, my son's here. My brother, <laughs> I don't know what that is. That is someone is shaking his head. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, that means that. Because, me, for example, because of where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. I was late. No, because I didn't see my father. Mm. So I married of your oh, With mama. the mindset that the I'm woman. Yeah. <laughs> but, but when we got married, she, she happens to be, she used to be uh, this beautician thing, mm. right? And so she went to, there was a time she was uh, working pay, she was working for somebody. I need to prepare a uh, yam. Mm. And it was interesting. <laughs> because I, have, oh, I don't have any idea. When we went to college, we were told how to cook. I thought we were doing this approach now. The truth is that <laughs> every man must know how to cook. But mm -hmm. more importantly, any young girl who don't know how to cook. That one is vital. It's very vital. That's number one. Mm. Domestically. Number Domestically. two. The way you sweep, you clean your house. You need to learn how to sweep, how to make your house clean. Okay. How to put things in order. Put, yes, because men hate disorganized women. We hate it. <laughs> wow. Dirty woman, you are ah, you are disorganized. You can't you can't clean your place. Even you are panting, you can't you can't clean them. No, 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 no. You want organized. Mm. Uh, I mean, you, you see, we have about four billion women. Out of four billion, I've chosen the Via Jimfo. You've got to carry yourself very well. Your demeanor, your courtesy, your personality, the way you present yourself. But if you are a dirty person and you are disorganized, you don't care even you, the way you, you, you present know. yourself, your outfit. So you need to learn how to prepare, making sure you clean your home, how to come out, wash dishes, and that. you need to learn all that. So that when you marry, you are not going to be a bad thing. No, on the man. But if yeah. you are not clean and you don't know how to do those things, or you are a young girl, you are in your singing room, why a sucker too? Why a Papa. <laughs> I need to see things. So that's the thing. So you need to prepare all this. So preparing domestically, knowing how to cook different kind of food and menu and the way you carry yourself. For example, if you are a single young girl, mm. when you wake up in the morning, don't come out to make sure you brush your teeth after prayer. Okay. And you shower. You make sure you look good. You don't bring a half piece of cloth and then you put it uh, no 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 
By the time you come out, you look presentable. Okay. You are not going to know what you are going who to you meet. Are going to who meet. you are going to meet. Now, I was one day, I'm sorry. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And you want to marry? Who is going to marry you? So presentation is key. Very important. I learned how to do that. Mm. So you wake up in the morning, you thank Jesus for one hour. You brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. You, shower, you shower. You look good. You change. You don't take your nighty out to go and buy bread. Hey, no, no. Hey. <laughs> ah, <laughs> what, is, what is the name? You call nighty. Nighty. Pyjamas. Pyjamas. What is the name? Crack, crack, crack. No bra, nothing. Hey. hey. Oh, oh, oh. You are not ready to marry. <laughs> Before you go out, all these things you need to learn. Yeah, very important. Bishop, very important. let me read this comment from our viewer, Mr. John Amponsa Afari. He says, Well done, Bishop Adolfo. Marriage is like a boxer who has been well trained before going to the ring. Okay. He or she has no fear, no panic. God bless you, John Afari from UK. Thank you so much, Mr. John. God bless you. Kindly bring in your comments, questions, contributions. If you know of a single or a married person, make sure they are on this platform. The only platform that redefines your home for glory. Thank you so much and God bless you. Bishop. Yeah, when it comes to preparation, financial mm. preparation is very important. That is, every young man, young woman who is single must be able to have income. Okay, so we are talking about financial, financial preparation, preparation for that marriage. Is for marriage. Mm. Before you say I do, you must have income. Because, hey, maybe if you are saying, you this, because you got to plan that in case I get married and I, I get pregnant, antenenta, mm -hmm. delivery, all these, all these bills. Oh, but my man, my office is up. I mean, for them go your grass up. So you need a woman who will help you. Wow. And Tibaka said, if you don't have income, you are not permitted to get married. So, Bishop, gone were those days where um, a lady gets into marriage and she doesn't have any income. She becomes like a burden you to the man. become a liability to mm. the man. That's why, not now, sometimes, some men despise their wives. And more treat them. More treat them because they were too stressed. They were too under stress. Who told you and my husband? Ah, oh, new papa. Even... Uh, something like your man says, you need something. Like part, part like my panties, husband. Oh, want daddy. to do your hair. Her husband. Oh, no, 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 no. You must be an asset to the man. Mm. So many of you are in How can I insult her? Oh, boy, you man. Oh, boy, or the income of back. Now, what do you know? Answer what you want So, please. And the men, the guys who go to church, and then, you know, pastors, reverence, we preach, are going for the case. And so here you are, you want to go to heaven, you want to have uh, conscience without guilt. Mm. And then you see me, baby, Jimmy. And so you want to marry by faith. Hey, master, be careful. <laughs> the reality, okay. no, sir, you are going to give money to your wife. Okay, so that is marriage by faith. No. Marrying without... <laughs> faith without work, so no. <laughs> so what are we saying? Prepare, get a job, get income. Mm. Now, we are not, not saying be rich, man. No, 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 no. Okay. Something they say is better than nothing. But if you don't have anything at all, don't start. Mm. No, I didn't say I do. Not so, at all. So there because. should be something running, like something a monthly, running, month, monthly month, or you should be in a, some business that sure. can bring out some. As a matter money. of fact, I don't want to mention the name of the church. Here in Ghana, there are a few churches mm -hmm. that in their counseling, you need to bring uh, your, your account. pay slip and account. Yes, they your need to do account that. details to they, check. Some of you will come to your house to see. Where you live. Yes, and I was even told by a counselor, and I disagree with him, that if you are living in a single room, you can't marry. I said, this one is evil. You can't say that one. Mm. What are you talking? Life, they say, progressive, progressive attainment. attainment. For if a young man can have a single room, ah, he has, he has a thing gone. Why are they? Now, they are all cancer. I tell them, we speak. You forgot where we are coming from. Me, I can never say that one. Because that's how you began. And the truth is, if it's, it's all the it's it's Bible. Mm. Bible says, Everything has its time. Okay. Jesus, as a king, mm. was born as a child in a manger. Mm -hmm. So we start from somewhere. Mm. So I'm not going to despise anybody in a singing room. Just that it doesn't matter. But in the singing room, you must have a bed. Okay. T television. Mm -hmm. Some chairs. Basic, basic, basic. basic. I, it doesn't matter how big uh, your fridge will be. It's mm -hmm. small, but at least. 
Coco, you take a crab coop, that's fine. Mm. In zero group, that's fine. Uh -huh. Bishop, I, I also learned that as a lady or as a single lady preparing for marriage, there are, set, there are certain things that you need to buy. That is like um, utensils, ah, things now for the kitchen. Now, I don't know. Why mm -hmm. you are coming? That's what we are saying. Financially preparation, mm -hmm. you need to prepare. So that, not only those things, though. When you are coming to marry, let's say somebody has married you. What day night? Honeymoon. You bring your investment $25,000 my investment so to I'm bring... the honeymoon yeah, no no I'm saying you and your husband is the uh, honeymoon it's only sex sex, sex. Oh, okay you talk okay. but you want to surprise the man wow well when I was waiting for you or when I was waiting for Mr. Wright I was working mm. and I was able to save 15,000 pounds wow 150,000 Ghana really? 20,000 Ghana wow. this is it Wow, to support the man. Now, when you're fifty percent max, yes. Now, when you're wrong, sir, you've come as a burden. Ah, no, and yet, as I am a bit of you, so prepare spiritually, you and your God, and prepare scripturally, mm -hmm. knowing the way, the word. forgiveness, selfishness, mm. and domestically to prepare mm -hmm. how to cook and then get some money financially. And then financially, probably the last part one will be. Prepare emotionally. Emotionally. Child. Mm. Emotionally prepare simply means that you must be able to prepare that in case somebody offends you, you can still stand. In case somebody hurts you, like your husband. Okay. Emos because some people, emotionally, they are, they are not strong. Yeah. That's why they have stress, mm. depression, mm. blood pressure, mm. cancer, and mm. many more. If you are not prepared, if you are not mature uh, emotionally, mm. when you marry, you are going to have challenges. Yeah. So you need that one too. That, yes, I'm a human being. I may be wrong, and somebody must be able to correct me. Okay. In case even somebody, my husband insults me, my in-law insults me, I'm not going to say I'm not going to marry again. I'm not going to change my mood, you know? There are two types of people. Mm -hmm. One. We call them reactive people. Reactive. Reactive. Okay. And then our second one is proactive. proactive. Mm. Reactive people are emotionally, they, they are empty mm. because they move according to actions, uh, circumstances, circumstances, prevailing conditions. Mm. But the proactive people say, I don't care what you say, mm -hmm. I know where I'm going. Okay. Very important. So emotionally, you need to prepare because you're a human being mm. and you are married to a human being. He can offend you, he can insult you, people can despise you as part of it. So with the emotional preparation, how does it start? It starts with you making up your mind. Yes, it's, it's a mindset, but okay. again, it comes back to the scriptures. Okay. Let's say you go, you get married, mm. and uh, you, you are not a tall woman, mm -hmm. right? And then your in-laws, ah, nah, ah, uh, they have been waiting to see. You see, <laughs> and if emotionally you are not sound, mm. you will be depressed. Yeah. But you must be able to know that you must love yourself. I know who am I. No matter no how. No matter my love. I don't care what you say. See the worth of yourself. Yes, I'm proud of my my, my height, my height, my size. My and that's body. Obolobo, obolo. Yeah. But the man says, I like obolo. Ah. I don't want to buy a big bed. You become my bed. <laughs> Be confident in your body. Yes, no. If I'm emotionally sound, mm. you may disperse yourself. Yes. Why is it that today, some wives or some women mm. who go say, I don't have back. So, so they should cut Attachment. Some for attach, attaching your back. I don't do for you. Or you see a very nice black woman, incomprehensive. And they say, well, I want to go and shake. No, of course not. Yeah. Emotionally, you are not sound. So you, you don't like us. You want to be somebody. No. You don't appreciate how don't God appreciate, has made yes. you. Yes. You must have to have value to yourself. Mm. That this is how God made me. Wow. God made me this way, and I'm proud of my level. Mm -hmm. Now you're ten, ten hundred. Now you're ten, ten hundred. And I also know do. Ah, mm. sister. Mm. Now who's you're so Oh, for example, here in Ghana, mm. when somebody says you are fat. Let the person, that fat person go to America. Or oh, small. <laughs> uh, let's say, <laughs> when they say you are not short, go to uh, China. You are going to see your mates there. Mm. So, if, if you are not sound, people may run you down. Yeah. You got to know that 
you are important by God. Mm -hmm. Your size notwithstanding, mm. your body notwithstanding, you are important. You are important. If you don't have this understanding, you want to be like somebody. And watch this. Tomorrow I'm going to make this statement in my preaching. Do you know Bill, Bill Cosby yes. in America? Yes. Yes. He said, The Cosby Show. Because he said, I don't know the secret of success. Mm. I don't know the key of success, but I know the key of failure. Which is? And the key of failure is if you want to be like somebody. That is the key of failure. Of, yes. Mm. Any time you don't love yourself, you don't value yourself. You don't value yourself. You want to be like somebody. That's the key of failure. Right? Wow. So in marriage, some of these things need to be discussed so that you know who you are. Very vital. Mm. So all these are something that you need emotionally, emotionally to build you up. Yes. I may not be a tall man, but I, I have met a woman who, who says, I want to marry you. Mm. For example, when, before I got to marry, you know, I this is the man I want. To the glory of God, the rest is history. I don't mm. want to say anything. That's it. So, but she says, well, I just like this man now. So she didn't allow anybody to intimidate her. Yes. So if you don't have value for yourself, mm. some people may direct your attention. Mm. So preparation emotionally, very vital. It's very vital. Thank you very much, Bishop. This has been good so far, so good. Thank you all our viewers. Pastor Aidan says, God bless the crew. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Aidan, for supporting us from Obi Manso. Nana Sabeng says, you must be someone who can tolerate excuse me to say nonsense to have a successful marriage mm. wow and mr john amponsa afari says fathers or parents should stop selling their daughters out for marriage instead of giving them out in uk twice have i witnessed a father saying i suffered bringing my daughter to london as such i am taking seven thousand pounds before you before that." That's outside the diary. Wow. Oh, okay. So, Mr. John Amponsa is talking about parents who sell their daughters yeah, so for marriage. Before yeah, you pay mm. a diary. This. But you know, it's only Africa that we do that. When you go to the West, if a father and your daughter get married, you are going to pay money for the wedding. Wow. It's only Africa we mm. do that. Thank you all. I see you, Shepherd Chacha, Mrs. Anderson. God bless you for watching. Thank you all so much for watching. Lizzie Grace. Thank you, Mr. Daniel Ose Afram. Thank you all. So we've been talking about preparation for marriage. If you just joined us, Bishop has told us the need for us to prepare spiritually, knowing God first, scripturally, knowing the word of God. He spoke about domestically, knowing how to carry yourself, keep yourself clean, knowing how to cook as a woman, especially. Although the men are also encouraged to learn how to prepare something. And then we also encourage to prepare financially. Be someone who has an income, work, and earn something before you can get married. And then you should fortify yourself emotionally. Be prepared for what people will say, for insults, for um, hurts from your partner before you get married. And it starts with the mindset and then with God. So, so far, so good. It has been very, very interesting. Um, Jake Annan. Okan says, Ebenezer Boati, me too. I'm in Mata, Mata. Wow. Kwadem. Okay. Thank you so much. And then Albert Kwesi Kumsi says, I'm coming to marry the... <laughs> you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, Bishop, can we continue? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Albert. <laughs> He's, going to come. He's going to marry the host. The host. Oh, <laughs> please. <laughs> okay. I think that is that. Bishop, can we please continue? Yeah, so the, when it comes to preparation, socially, you must be able to prepare socially. Mm. You know, even today, the monks are changing. Mm -hmm. You are not isolated. You are not in quarantine. You need people. So in the society where you live, mm. you need preparation, meaning you must be able to know how to relate with people. In most of us here in Ghana, mm. in marriage, probably you start, you are going to rent apartment. Mm -hmm. So you must be able to know how to communicate with 
for, uh, fellow or co tenants, the landlords, and mm. many more. Mm. Let's say you take trot to work, or you are working with somebody, how are you going to relate with your colleagues? So, daily relationships are very, very important. important. You need to be trained, mm. you need to mature how to relate with people. But there are some people, let's say, they married today. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they have probably a single room chamber home mm. somewhere. And immediately they go to that house. They begin to go to everybody's room, having friends everywhere. Oh, okay. Before the husband comes home, they are chatting. You know, mm -hmm. it simply means there's something wrong with you. Yeah. So you need to be trained before you say, I do. You got to know that in this life, mm. every, not everybody will like you. Okay. Now, it's not bad if you talk to people, but you need to be selective. The way you, do. in other words, you can't be friends with everybody. Even it is advised that when you get married, you reduce sure. the friends. You but there are some people, ch -ch 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 they talk too much. Mm. They are too busy. You have no cook for your husband. You have not done anything. You are talking. Mm. Now, when I, I, it comes to society, for example, there are some women, when they marry, before they, they are in debt. Wow. That is, uh, here they are. They just begin a business. Mm -hmm. No free and your man. And to my and to my man women in debt. And so before I realize within six months of marriage, what they got two thousand dollars. It become a liability. In mm Tiana -hmm. was say as a lady, you know, you can afford these things yourself. Yeah, now even if you can afford, you got to know that not every money we spend. Okay. Some are for keeps. Ah, so you are going to hire, you are going to be a tenant every day. No. no. Immediately you start the marriage, you can get, you need to know you can have kids. The next five years, what are you going to do? Mm. You need preparation. Preparation is key. Very important. How you mm. live with people and, and when it comes to finance, I didn't tackle, I didn't talk uh, about how money is spent. Yes. You it's need very that important. Training. Okay. How you can bring money. And then how money can be spent. Mm, budgeting. Managing, managing the money. money. Very important. Mm -hmm. So that's why if somebody is here, the son of our voice, Peter Chapel here, we have Reverend Dapa and Reverend Ministers who are good in counseling. Mm. So some of these things, if God permit in our church, uh, we are going to have two months of doing marriage this thing before the end of the year. In preparation. Uh, preparation. It's very, very important. Mm. The singles, you need a pop. Yes. Here, a pop. yes. Uh, here I am. Pa. Here, pa. So that you don't just rah, rah, rah. because mm -hmm. at times it's, it's unfortunate that people enter into marriage and they are empty. They don't have anything. In, in, in knowledge about In other words, it. you must have something to go and help the man. Or the woman. Or the woman. Very vital. So a, 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 a bit maturity mm. is needed mm. on both sides. So that when you go, you know you are going to do something. Mm. For example, uh, if you're a young girl, before you say, I do, uh, a man comes and he says, I want to marry you. Don't say yes, don't say no. But say, let's be friends and see how to go. Okay. In other words, the person, you don't know him. You don't know him. Because mm. this one, it is Michael. Mickey has come and said, I want to marry you. Uh, Shepherd Mickey. You don't know. I didn't say, I said, my <laughs> Mickey. You don't know him. But some people, they will say yes or no. At times, you, young girls will say no because they look at the person, they begin to size the person. Mm, the work he does, no, whether he has a car, do he has a house. Don't despise small beginning. Mm. So, every young girl hear the sound of my voice. Mm -hmm. When somebody proposes to you, even if you don't like him, don't say no. Don't say no. But just say, okay, let's be friends, let's be friends. for a while. Because you've got to know the person before you make decisions. You don't know this person. Mm. Why are you saying yes? No. And so these are the things that before you marry, you need to consider. Very, 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 vital. very important. You don't just say yes to a man, not at all. Mm. Very vital. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Bishop. So so far bishop has added again to his the points he's given us in preparedness for marriage as singles and it's been a blessing thank you mr frimpon marfo for watching ben kofi 
Joyce Asamwa. This is Family Matters. We encourage you to bring your questions in about preparing for marriage as singles, or even if you are in marriage and you have any questions or suggestions, just bring them up and really, really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. God bless you so much. Bishop, let's continue. Uh, you need to also prepare, uh, you need to be mature in forgetting the past. In forgetting the past. What does it mean? Let's say you to have ex-boyfriend, okay. ex-girlfriend. Okay. You need to mature to a level that when somebody comes in your way, mm. you don't say, ah, this one I didn't see in my ex. So. Comparison. Yeah, I didn't see this one in my ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So in other words, you have met a new person. Mm. You want to see your ex in him or okay. in her. That's wrong. You want your ex, your current um, person to behave like uh -huh. your ex. So you must able to mature you not that mm. you must able to forget your past. Forget your past. Sending messages to somebody has proposed to you that you want to marry you. So in a way, he has not married you. But in looking at the Bible, when somebody says, I want to marry you, Connie, and let's say both of you have consent, mm. and at times if you can go deeper, when your parents also agree, in a way, the man has some form of authority. So if you, you, you don't listen to him, mm. then you are not helping yourself. Okay. More importantly, if you begin to bring your past into your present. Oh, where do you mean? Who me else? Now, so what are you trying to do? You are comparing your past to your present. Simply mm. that you lack maturity. Okay. Let the past be past. Mm. Don't see the present and the past. Don't try to bring the past into present. If you do okay. that, you are immature. Okay. Now, Obeman, why you ask wow? I must say, come. Obana, I don't know about. I didn't know about this. It's not the best. It's not done. So maturity in forgetting the past forgetting is the important. Past. Mm. Very, very important. Vital. Very vital. Mm -hmm. Don't bring your ass into the test, especially when you say, well, so. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> you can still send message to no, you are not helping yourself. So you are saying the ex shouldn't be a friend. Not at all. Okay. And the, the, you must never see bring the ex into the picture. Into bring the picture. At all. You are dealing with the two of you. The two of you. And no one else. Because there are some young girls or mm. young men, they are dating somebody, they are even gossip with somebody, mm -hmm. and they keep on referring to their ex. It simply means you lack maturity. Okay. So before you say I do, you need to mature. To forget especially the past. forgetting your past. Mm -hmm. And even now in marriages, mm. because people didn't deal with their past, they've married today, mm -hmm. and yet they are still dealing with their ex. Why worry? What does it do now for four new? Um, past. Past. You are not mature. Mm. You are not helping your marriage. Mm. That's why people are not enjoying it. Bishop, there is there is a question from Mrs. Anderson Chacha. She says, "Please ask Bishop for me. How can a man manage a woman who has once divorced?" To have a successful marriage with her, uh, the man has married mm. and he has once divorced. Manage a woman who okay. has the, the woman. woman rather has divorced before. Correct. So then this is very applicable. Mm. The man must be mature to forget the past. Now it is the woman. The woman must be mature to forget her, her past. past. Meaning, it doesn't matter how this present husband is. Yes. Comparison with art of equation. Okay. Um, that's my one. Number two, even if he has made mistakes before, she mm. must be able to let bygone be bygone. Comparison will eat her up. Okay. For example, human beings are different the way God has wired us. Mm -hmm. you can, even twins, we are not the same. So if you want me to be like somebody, then like the copsy said, you want to be a failure. Failure, uh, failure mm. is knocking on your door. Mm. So to manage... I, I'm married that you have already divorced. Mm -hmm. You must cut your past. Mm. Be mature enough to forget your past. Okay. And begin to appreciate the present. Never try to see your past husband in this, in one. this one. It won't work. Mm. And then, Why? Mm. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> so to manage the new marriage, he must be able to manage herself first. 
Mm. As a matter of fact, we don't have power to manage anybody apart from ourselves. And the Bible says, you must be able to take heed to yourself first. First. First Timothy 4. So mm. she must be able to manage herself, forgetting her past, and then appreciate uh, God's miracle by giving mm. her another opportunity to marry. And then love him, respect him, and pamper him. Mm. Yes. Okay. Well said, Bishop. Um, Mary Apia said, you said when a man says he wants to marry a lady, she should not say yes or, or no. no, but be friends. And my question is, what if you and the guy have been dating for some time? I think the dating... Okay, so that means they've, they've established a friendship for a Fine. while. That's a different thing. Mm, okay. Now, I said that because in most cases, let's say we are in church, mm. and Kwame just comes, I want to marry you. Mm. You do know Kwame. Do you know him? You know him in church, uh -huh. but you don't know him on a personal level. The truth is that it is the best if the person you are going to spend the rest of your life with him or her become your friend first. Either, this is apple free apple for free. Single. singles. By, my, by God's grace, myself and the fear of Jimfua, we, we got married in 93, but we worked for three years. We used to meet once a week, four hours. Monday, the young girl. Because <laughs> I go to school and then I close 11, I walk to where she works. Four hours. So before we got married, you know, we have good relations and friendship mm. deep with our sex. Mm. Now, I some people have married today. They have regretted because they don't know the person. They are not friends. They are not friends. friends. So I made that point because mm. marriage is a not a place of going that you are going to come, but a place of no return. Yeah. So make sure before you say I do, the person becomes your friend. So for me, I always still say, even if you know the person, now that he has proposed to you, mm -hmm. don't say no or yes. Oh, hello. Now we have moved to a different level. So let's become friends. Why? You want to know the person, his value, countenance, everything, his demeanor, visions, courtesy, everything. everything. How does he communicate? Mm. When he gets angry, what are the words that he uses? So that you don't make a mistake right now. If Jesus changes his plan and gives another Bible that if we're a pastor, a deacon, elder, prophet, mm. host of mommy, whoever you are, who, you can divorce. Hey, hey. Monday, come and see. <laughs> go, go to the Israel general. There'll be traffic. There'll be traffic. Mm. Why? Because more people have entered into marriage and have regretted. They've wrong, they, they have regretted. They, they've married a wrong person. One man was traveling, and then you see the ring. Instead of this one, he put the ring here. And then somebody said he was flying. Somebody said, first class, oh. Hello, sir. You, you are worried that wrong, that wrong. I said, no. I've, I've married a the, wrong woman. Hey. That's why I'm doing this one. <laughs> wow. No, because it's not a wrong woman. Because he lacked people mm. That's the mm. thing. So mm. for me, saying yes mm -hmm. to somebody you don't know, who is not your friend, you are bringing trouble on yourself. Yeah, so friendship is very important. The only thing is that attacks, primary attacks is the problem. Okay. Because for me, if not that one, I will encourage people to like have friends a year or two before know the person. Now, in the process, don't sleep with that person, no, because I have something here. Uh, before you say I do, mm -hmm. you must love God. You must and love God. Love holiness. Mm. It's also a point I have. So we have not got into that side, but okay. that's the question now. That's why I made that statement. Don't say yes to a person who is not your friend. Mm -hmm. Begin to walk with him, walk with her, listen to him. But we are doing this in a godly manner. One year, mm. Mm. because in the process, if the person fools around, once I want you say, now the home and every area, as a matter. Aye, well lose. Well lose. There's another question from Kwame Sechi. Mr. Kwame Sechi says, Bishop, can a Christian marry an unbeliever? No. Watching you from Belgium, life. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Amen. My, my, my brother, no, 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 because of two scriptures. Okay. Deuteronomy 7 3. 7 3, 2 Corinthians 6 14. Mm -hmm. The truth is that God, who is a marriage maker, mm. he was so interested about who to marry. Mm -hmm. Hence, he told the Israelites, when you go to Canaan land, don't give your deltas and sons to them. To them. He told me 73. He was so specific. Was spe specific, uh, specific mm -hmm. particularly. Mm -hmm. 
to whom you marry. Mm. And the mm. Corinthian mm. says, you know, you could unbeliever. A Christian must marry a Christian mm. so that we have the same compatibility so far as God and his word is it's concerned. Concept. Very important. Mm. And your mistake, Mm. He said, no, no. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kwame Sechi. Um, Chioma Chioma for watching, Foster Yeboah, Ken Solomon. Patricia Efum says, friendship really helps in marriage, else you'll be stressed to death. Ah, mm. She has said it, experience, so experience is the sure. best teacher. Thank you so much. Chioma Chioma says, wow, I'm, he I'm learning. Learn no. <laughs> Singles, learn no, we yeah. are learning. Okay, thank you, Bishop. The person be your friend. Mm. Hey, Very you important. Know the person, the kind of food he likes when he's angry, you know. How that, he behaves. Yes. No, when it comes to communication, nonverbal communication, the eye contacts, and uh, hey, oh yeah, oh yeah, rough. So for me, I'm surprised that you meet somebody who you want to see a six months in my body. Hey, I would have the trouble. Six months, maybe within the six months, they. Debbie, been Debbie, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's no good. Listen. Your most problem when they are in their single state, they think that the whole world is against them. Who told you that? To be a single is a very vital. You need to prepare and grow mm. in faith. Master, oh Maria, oh you Yeah. Why do you see yourself? You are not important because you are single. So you are in hurry because of what? It's because pressure. of what people say. Ah. Sometimes from pressure from family, you, friends. You want what people say? You want to do what they say? And you are going to kill yourself mm. because in this world. Whatever you do, they will talk. So ma know who you are and take things according to God's time. Who is senior now? You nipa. Talk what I say. I mean, our daughter who just sent a message. You can see, ah, on your memory, na memory power. It doesn't matter your age. God's time is the best. Wait for God's time. Then your memory is one. We will say, "Mary, not so far." Yeah. Okay. So maybe because of time, let's continue the okay. areas of preparation. Preparation. And uh, your work with God. The first thing was that you must be able to have relationship. Now, in church, mm -hmm. as a child of God, you mm -hmm. must be a worker of God, a lover of God, who believes in holiness. Okay. In other words, let's say in church, if for a young man, mm -hmm. this is from me, mm -hmm. from Evo, for you to marry a girl in the church, the girl must be a worker in the church. What am I saying that? Is it my theory? No. What the Bible says. Okay. Law of priority. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom. The kingdom of God. So don't marry people who are in church. They don't do nothing. Because listen, if a person cannot serve God, he, he can't, can't serve, serve you. Me. The person must be able to serve God before he can serve you. Mm. Very vital. And I want to throw another bomb. True, here. true. If a young girl and you go to church... Mm. If before you marry, let your pastor approve your marriage. Wow. In other words, you must have to have a father figure in the Lord. Okay. So that when your husband misbehaves, somebody that your husband admire, have reference, mm. have respect. Reverence. Very important. You don't just marry anybody in church mm -hmm. who doesn't have fa fa father, father figure, figure or who doesn't care about kingdom work. Mm. Let's say here in this church, you see people like uh, Mickey and other people who are serious working for Jesus. Hey. These people, they, they have already married. Promotion, so you, promotion, oh, yes. promotion. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Mickey, they, okay, but you know, before even the uh, Tonto and Kwesi, all of them, before they married, they were workers. Mm. If you marry a worker, at least the person have reverence for God. For God. Or what thing come in, or when you think come on. Now, oh, sorry, you just want to marry. Because of somebody's beauty. Hey, why someone as someone told? <laughs> uh, somebody says, uh, somebody called me and said, I want to marry you, but the man, the man who wants to marry me says, I like check too much. Ah, you like check too much. You spend so much time in church. No. When I go to church, I am a worker. I want to go and sweep. Mm. You don't want that kind of woman. Uh, Teresa was a treasure in her church. Wow. And then I can still remember that those days. As a student, they were doing morning devotion. When I go there, I see her sweeping, sweeping early morning. Mm. I began to eye her. So, that ah, means you one. can serve a man. Uh -huh. So when I, I saw her serving the church, I said, ah, then she can be also for mommy. And then, <laughs> now, of course, and so it's, 
It simply means that if you go to church, be a worker. Be a worker. And you are not working because of but working for Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you seek God first, He will take care of your life. Anything our will be all Bruno. Because one soon I mean when you yam. God first mm -hmm. and other things are be added. Mm -hmm. You see, why people are praying marriage, marriage. Teresa says she didn't pray one day for marriage. Listen, if you become a kingdom promoter, God will take care of your life. Sure. So if right now your marriage is not forthcoming, mm. the question is, are you a worker? Mm -hmm. Serve mm. Jesus. Ni lai se si hoa. Chioma chioma se H. Wow, do. Thank you all so much, Nila. Um, Mama Faustina Apia is watching. Michael Ofe Wuku is supervisor. Thanks for watching. And Nana Echa says, Nidia Buama. I think she's she's telling us her name. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Bishop, let's push it. Yeah, so very important. So I'm saying maturity mm -hmm. in the house of God, meaning becoming a worker. We are not saying be an elder. If you are elder, that's fine. But a worker, I'm talking about working in the church. Carrying staff. You can be an usher, a choir star, mm -hmm. a tambourine shaker. Just get some prayer people warrior. In. Prayer warrior, evangelism ministry, sanitation, protocol, children's ministry, children ministry teens ministry, very vital. Mm. Those are the things for me. Ah, when I see, I say, wow. So like I mentioned, uh, this brother's name because they work in the church so i'm not saying look for position no be a worker and so let's say if my my son like these sons of god want to marry and they come to me that's what i'm saying mm -hmm. before you marry your pastor must be able to approve approve first very important you need that spiritual backing you need blessing. that spiritual backing and then again we can navigate your future very important you can, be see what you, well, you can see what you you can see as they say wouldn't be don't forget, it's your life, oh. mm. but if you go to church, it's not only you. Your marriage also is my marriage. In other words, when things are hard, it will come to the pastor. Mm. Now, the problem is that in the church, no problem, the pastor, they will go to him. Why not you go to him when you want to marry? Because anything, pastor, anything, pastor, you want to marry, spend six, ten years, mm. and didn't tell your pastor, oh, mm. what's wrong with I mean, there are some people you see, say, ah, God, we all when you. Other people do their own question. Mm. So for me, I want to encourage young girls and young men. Young men. Don't hide your marriage from your pastor. Mm. And I know our online viewers, they are, in other words, not only Peter members mm -hmm. are listening to us. So yes. around the globe, yes. I'm saying, young girl, before you say I do, make sure the man who wants to marry you has a father figure in the Lord mm. who he respects so that you can go and report in case of something. And you can be accountable to. Not important. Mm. And again, as a young man, look for a girl in the church who is a worker. Who is a worker. And then when I say that, I also say that as a young girl and as a young man in the church, you must believe in holiness before holiness. you say, I do. I do. Meaning, premarital sex is out of equation. It's a no-no. No-no. It's a no-no. No, mm. Don't go there. Mm. So, how do I know this man is a child of God? Mm -hmm. And nobody who comes to you to propose to you and he says, let go and sleep. Mm -hmm. But no. Mm -hmm. No. Yes, you marry me, but this sex thing is for married people. Okay. Now, come to think of it. We are going to stay 70 years. Why you want to test me? And I may my application or test test me. In most cases, mm -hmm. most people, because they have given themselves to the men, mm. that's why they are begging them. Wow. A man may disappoint you mm -hmm. if he sleeps with you. Yeah. So for me, I'll go Bible way. Okay. Bishop, let me ask a question in relation to that. Assuming there is this uh, man you have met, but has already had previous sexual relationships with you with another person before coming into the relationship with you and you have christian standards and both of you have agreed that in the relationship there's not going to be any form of sexual relation how are you going to um, help the man because he has already tried with other people i would say that mm. every young girl you must be able to have your constitution mm -hmm. i call it constitution mm. self-discipline constitution Wow. What does it mean? You want to marry me? Okay. 
I am on the key back at There's no keys. Mm -hmm. You write. You, you, you outline uh -huh. them. No mm -hmm. keys, oh. Mm. No sex. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you pardon. I am. I can't cook for you. I can't wash for you. Okay. Do you obey my constitution? Give it to him. <laughs> let him sign. If he say yes, let's continue. Oh, if wow. no, no, bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. Complete. Wow. Wow. Yes. Bishop, before. You must have your own philosophy mm -hmm. as a person. Principle. Principle. Master. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, dear, no, no. Yes. Mr. Michael Ofe Ewuku, that's my arrow. He says, thank you, Pastor. Working in the house of God opens some doors for you that you don't pray for. They just happen to you. Okay. Wow. And Ben Kofi says, I am blessed whenever I listen to my bishop. God bless you, bishop. Madam Evelyn Entry is watching. God bless you. And Neela says, bishop, please, what advice would you give to the young people who go into full-time ministry in the expense of marital responsibilities like finance, sex, and others? Well, mm. if somebody will go to full-time ministry, mm. he needs to be paid. And for me, I even spoke to our uh, workers here. Let's say if we are in an urban area like Accra Kumasi, in the church, the people who can be full-time, who, who must allow to be full-time, maybe like, Maybe the senior pastor, mm. his assistant, maybe the technical team one won't be. In other words, as a pastor, a man of God, full-time ministry is not bad, though, but begin with something. Okay. In other words, there's nothing wrong if you have other source of income. Mm. Uh, Ma pastor Matashimolo, KICC says that Apple, the sea, every river going to it, but still is there. In other words, yeah. have a different avenue. Sources of income. Very important. So mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not against any full-time thing. Okay. But you got to ask yourself, full-time ministry, how much are they going to give to you? So yes, go into full-time, but get something to do it. Yeah. And you know, you can be in check and still work on the computer and many, many more. There's nothing wrong. But if you say, well, God has called me, uh -huh. so, in the name of God, you manipulate that woman, and then the woman suffer. You are not helping yourself okay. at all. Don't use God to catch anybody. Mm. If God calls you, you must be able to take care of you. So you got to ask yourself, I want to enter into food and ministry. Who is going to pay me? Mm. How much? How much? Talk to God. And if you see that maybe the beginning is a bit rough, get something attached to it. It will help you. It will help. Yes, mm. it will help you a lot. Thank you, Bishop. Ni Mr. Nilai, I hope your question has been answered. Madam Deborah, if our government is watching, God bless you. Samuel Santi says, God bless you, Daddy. Thank you. And Ked Entry is watching. Thank you all so much for your time. We appreciate the every second, every minute, every hour you spend here on Family Matters with us. So I'm just making the constitution again. Mm. Every young girl. Every young girl. You must have your own personal constitution. constitution. What does it mean? Rules, laws. Mm -hmm. I'm a young girl. Mm. You want to marry me? Mm. I'll go to church. Okay. I'll peace chapel. Mm -hmm. Reverend Dapa is mm. my pastor. Bishop is my father. Okay. This body belongs to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, oh, you are a nice man. No problem. I have my own philosophy. Yeah. Personal constitution. Mm. Number one, no kiss. Mm. You write and give to him. You want to go with me, sign. Okay. You don't talk my back. Mm. You don't tell my friend. Mm. No, I'm not coming to your. I'm not coming to your house to cook or to wash. Mm -hmm. Very important. I'm not performing any wifely duties. No, sex is out. Mm. Are you ready? Sign. Okay. Okay. Have you signed that? The man too has his own confusion. Yes, the boys. The boys. Hey, the men. Yeah, the, the men. <laughs> Before people beat me. <laughs> Listen, I want to marry you. Mm. I'm. I may be supporting you. I'm not going to carry all your burdens. Yeah, burden. For example, mm. you go to school. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to pay your full your, fees. Your no speech. way, I won't do it. Mm. Sign. Are you ready? <laughs> Support this simply means that I may, in case you are have some challenges, challenges, but don't bring everything on me. Me nyang mareo, edi eni. Me hide that amount. Me nyang uti amount. Ada wa kwenye. Me nto fu amount zadi e. Sign. <laughs> so you have your constitution. I have my own. Let us sign. Mm. Uh -huh. And don't ask me unnecessary things. Sign. 
Mm. 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 Of holiness to, to the men's own. Yes, I mean, you're coming now. Uh, so, you, but don't forget that when the woman had the constitution, mm. for me, every see, we are wired differently. I'm going to marry you. Mm. You say no sex. That's all. It's for all of us. My constitution begins with, because I know some young girls, they want to take advantage of the young men. They want to marry me. So pay this, pay that. I'm not going to pay it. Mm. I'm not saying young men must never help. But they, they must be able to play a supportive role. Mm. I didn't do that, but my own is not objective. So I'm not with experience. Mm -hmm. I'm talking as an objective pastor. Yeah. So at times, some people are in it. I mm. didn't do it because I didn't have anything to do. That's the thing. So there's nothing wrong if you are in courtship with somebody, you help the person, but not to carry her burdens. And for me, if we're a child of God, yes, sister. I cannot have sex with you. You can't touch mm. my private part. Mm. You are not permitted to come to my home. Mm. For example, I didn't eat a few young for food. There was no picture. <laughs> no picture. No picture. No together. Pic <laughs> together. There's nothing. That like is this time, yeah. You but can't listen, say there's no picture. I used to, I still remember, <laughs> I used to go to a, a place, photos, and then I have pictures and others by myself. But, but not with her. No. Hmm. I didn't want any trouble, though. That's me. But today, dear, hey, selfie. Uh, but daddy, what will picture bring? Well, that was my constitution. <laughs> and okay. don't forget, I'm American in a way. Pragmatism. It has helped me. Wow. That's American theology. Mm. Yes, what works. So I'm not saying if you take a picture, <laughs> it's wrong. But my constitution was there, no food, no picture. And can you imagine? When you went to, you know, I, I was, I used to be in Church of Pentecost. When you went to counseling, mm -hmm. the counselors, that was the question. I didn't even know that. I didn't know. They asked you. Yeah, because I've not gotten married anywhere before. I've never gone to Pentecost, mm -hmm. but local, Padama, uh, district, Dakuma, local counseling, district. That's what they ask. What, what do they, what do they do? And they see, there be, there be no fear, there be ampa. Mm. But today, what have we seen? Mm -hmm. Before a man marries a woman, one in Ada. Oko weekends. Oko weekends. Oko see the nioma. Hey! Bishop, because they say, how would you know that the woman can cook? How would you know she can perform wifely duties if you don't Listen. allow her to? I tell the perfect mm. Every good thing comes from God. Mm -hmm. For me, I want to go go. So I didn't know anything about Teresa. I didn't know her food. But mm. in this church and many people, even my partners in America, when they come, they don't want to go to a restaurant. At the time they go, but they say, ah, Bishop, your wife food. I didn't test anything. Mm. Believe Jesus. Now, listen. I'm not saying it's a sin. Don't mm -hmm. get it wrong. I didn't say it's a sin if you cook for somebody you want to marry. Mm. But the aftermath or the consequences of that okay. one. Mm. And what I will do with you now, not the neighbor also. Mm. Don't forget, you can enter to a man's heart through food. Okay. So prevention is better than a cure. Mm. Constitution number one. I'm not going to cook for you. Because mm -hmm. you number two, no sex. Okay. You don't touch my breast. You don't kiss me. Sign. Okay. If you can't sign, I can't marry you. Very important. <laughs> you have So listen, this is your life. Mm. We don't have two lives. Mm -hmm. We have only one life only to live. Only one life to live. Single man. Single woman. Be careful. By the grace of God, peace happens to us now. Most people are enjoying marriages. Mm -hmm. And I want you to enjoy, not only Peter Chapel, online viewers, this is free counseling. Be careful about your life. Listen, other people have made mistakes, and mm. they have regretted. Mm. Why do you want to go and add your case to it? Yeah. You shall be giving us your final words. As I don't want to meet you. Yeah. Fun, I don't want to meet you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mm. that's the fun that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, you have only one life to live. Mm. Don't make mistakes. Don't make a mistake. And I pray that all the singers here, the sound of my voice, mm. will have Mr. Right or Miss Right to marry. Amen. And even those who have married, I pray that their children will have the same thing. Mm. Marriage is good, but lack of praising will destroy your life. Mm. So, prepare. Don't forget, foundation of a building determines how it is going to become. Mm -hmm. Your foundation must be God. Mm -hmm. God-centered. Christ-centered, and more importantly, 
Bible centered. Prepare. Mm. Very vital. Emotionally prepare. Prepare that you know how to cook, you know to how to take care of a woman and a man and many more. And above all, prepare to accommodate with a human being. Very important. And mm. so how to prepare is listen to this some of these teachings. Go to marriage seminar counseling, many mm. more. Mm. You can answer questions and you can answer. Mm. Learn before you go there. More importantly, as a young girl and as a young man, before you marry, make sure that person is your friend. Is your friend. Very vital. Mm. And grow and be mature to cut away all your ex-friends. Mm -hmm. Don't see your present with your ex. Bygone, be bygone. Bygone. And don't forget, it's your life. Marriage is good because if God relate husband and wife to the church and Christ, then you've got to be careful. And the Bible says, according to Hebrews 13, mm. 4, God wants us to honor marriage because in heaven, the last days, we are going to have judgment. So if you don't make good choice, it may harm you. Mm. My prayer is that all married men and women, if you have challenges, may Jesus give you grace. Amen. And those of you who are single, like you mm. and like Kwame Miki, Kojo Miki, and uh, all of you, you got to be careful about the choices you make. Mm. For me, don't forget, life is about your choice. Don't make mistakes. Mm. Thank you very much, Bishop. Thank you for your time, and thank you for your words of counsel. God bless you so much. We appreciate every word you said to us. Well, everything that has a beginning has a, an end. And for today's edition of Family Matters, Preparing for Marriage, we have come to a successful end, and we are glad, we are proud of you for staying with us I have been your host for today. My name is Constance Oleki Bakete, and I want to appreciate my um, family here who supports us, the crew, um, Shepherd Tonto, Shepherd Miki, Pastor Kwesi. God bless you all for supporting. God bless Peace Chapel members. God bless all our viewers. God bless everyone for watching. Thank you. Don't forget that tomorrow is a Sunday, and tomorrow's service is two. We are having first and second service. Make sure you come early. 6.30, registration starts. 7, we start prayers. And then it goes on and on. So we have our second service. And it's going to be very powerful. You don't want to miss that for anything, for any sleep at all. And don't forget that Peace Chapel will come your way on Monday and on Thursday with Peace Online Bible School, free online Bible school for any Christian who wants to have in-depth knowledge in the Word of God. And on Saturday, God willing, Peace Chapel is going to come your way again with Family Matters. Don't forget, we have a um, divine encounter in the afternoons from Monday to Saturday, 12 to 1 p.m. every time. Make sure you spend your lunch break time at work to pray because in these times, you and I need to pray. God bless you. Thank you for watching Family Matters. We redefine your homes for glory. Peace. Shalom. Okay. Amazing web. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22, 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Amen. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, back to the sender. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate You'll Peace Chapel International at the Yamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel With International, so our Father's peace House. Peace. Joy. Shalom. Amazing web. Jane 5.30, the Bible says, Is any one of you suffering? Is any one of you going to hardship? Let him pray. 
prayer is the key. Jesus Christ, he prayed. The apostles prayed. Abraham prayed. Hannah prayed. We call it divine encounter. So, my name my name my name If you want your level to change, it is through prayer. Monday to Saturday, 12 to 1 p.m. Peach Apple, Facebook Life. All you need to do, search Peach Apple and meet Peach Apple International pastors and men and women of God. And there shall be a change of level because through prayer, you can encounter God and there shall be a performance. It will be there.